And here we are at Friday. Can you believe it? We're here, we're at Friday, and we're going to speak about reflecting on our personal growth. Now, many of you who know me understand that I'm a total personal growth junkie. I am all about growth because one of my tenets, if you will, one of the things that I live by is if you are not growing, you are dying. Anything that's alive is growing. And so I would ask you to reflect on where you grew personally in 2021. Now, what do I mean by personal growth? I mean, what did you listen to on the radio? What did you watch on TV? What books did you read? What magazine articles did you read? Did you read any newspapers or news services on your computer? Did you meet any new people? Did you get involved in any new groups? Now, some of you, especially those of you in New York City, are saying, well, we were locked down forever. I couldn't really meet any new people. Oh, yes, you could, because there were tons of meetups that you could have gotten into online. There are many, many online types of activities that you could have taken advantage of. So let's look at how we grew personally, and then let's think about how we might want to grow personally in 2022 as we reflect on 2021. Now, why is personal growth even important? Again, as I said, if you are not growing, you are dying or dead, all right? When we're alive, even if we are not growing anymore in stature because Children do that while well, our hair grows, our nails grow. Um, there's growth happening in us physically. There should be growth happening in us mentally and emotionally as well. Where might you want to grow? Is there something that you want to learn more about? Is there something that you want to learn to do? I would love to have a conversation with you about where you might make some growth choices that will benefit you greatly. Please do get in touch with me. Um, keep an eye out because I will be doing a vision board class uh, that will help you grow in January. And I would look forward to having you at the class. Take care. Be well. Have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you on Monday when we're going to start to talk about re-envisioning. 